Well, guess what? A gubernatorial candidate in Illinois, who is a Democrat, picked a Democratic Socialist for his running mate. What? But brown damn boom, huh? And this is what we've been talking about. I did a video um, about how the Democratic Party needs to just doesn't know what it's doing and, and the end of the article was talking about we need to go for broke with democratic socialists so i'm gonna hear we're gonna learn about this young gentleman um illinois democratic state uh, senator daniel bliss is running an uphill race for his party's gubernatorial nomination he's trying to get the democratic party's nomination he faces a 21 million dollar problem He's running against uh, Hyatt Hotel heir J.B. Pritzker. The Pritzker family is a very rich, powerful family in Chicago. They have built so much there. They have a lot of money and a lot of influence, and they're just like, we're gonna, our guy is going to get into the governor's office. That's their goal. Power. So Daniel Bliss um, is countering his capital opponent by picking as his running mate someone who's Pritzker's direct opposite, a democratic socialist. This is the guy he's picking. I love this. At a rally Thursday night, Bliss announced that Chicago alderman Carlos Ramirez Rosa, a member of the Democratic Socialist of America, would be his running mate. <laughs> what did he say in his speech? This is what uh, Ramirez Rosa said, the Democratic Socialist, there's something much more powerful than money and political machines, and that's organizing people. Because um, they, they know they can't, they're not going to outfund them. They're not going to raise more money than a, than a hotel mogul. They're just not. Here's what else, here's what Bliss said. We're at a defining moment at our party in our state. As I thought about who to choose as a running mate, I thought about how Illinois needs a lieutenant governor who deeply believes in grassroots politics. We need someone who is progressive in their core, who is unafraid to take on entrenched power and unashamed to always stand with working families of Illinois. Well, now. The Democratic Party in Illinois, especially Chicago, is like as old and as corrupt as it, as it can be. I mean, Rahm Emanuel, he's a big Obama Democrat. He's running my city into the ground. Um, it's unbelievable. And this guy, uh, Ramirez Rosa, um, has like, he has been like a complete pain in the ass for the Illinois Democratic parties. They're, he's, he's been annoying the shit out of them, right? At 26 years, he's 26 years old, right? 26 years old. This is great. He won the office in 2015 as the youngest member of Chicago City Council, defeating an incumbent backed by Mayor Rahm Emanuel's super PAC. You see, Democrats, people are on to your corporate bullshit. And while you're going, resist, resist Trump, and you have no platform, all you have is just a house of cards of all these platitude three by five platitude cards that you're building your bullshit policy and your bullshit platform on, guess what? A democratic socialist, a 26 year old grassroots fundraiser, democratic socialist is coming in. He beat your Rahm Emanuel backed guy. And now he's got a shot at being Lieutenant governor of the state of Illinois, right? Here's what he said uh, earlier this year at the Democratic Socialists of America biannual convention, this is what Ramirez Rosa said, he made no bones about his determination to take aim at both Republicans and the establishment of his own party. As Democratic Socialists, we know that just as rigorously we, as we resist the right wing and their mouthpiece president, so too must we resist the neoliberal Democrats, he said. He's just calling them out. This is fantastic. Bliss and Ramirez Rosa will be campaigning on a platform of establishing a public finance system for Illinois' elections, enabling single-payer health care system, and moving the state toward ranked choice voting. Those are three big progressive things. If you live in Illinois and you're registered to vote, the primary is, Mar is, this, is March of 2018. So make sure if you live in Illinois, you register to vote. If you have friends and family that live in Illinois, show them this video. 
and send them this article. I'll put the link in below. It came in the intercept. But let them know who Bliss Ramirez Rosa are. Do not fall for the Pritzkers. They're Democrats just because that's where the power is. If Illinois was a Republican state and the Republican Party had all the power, the Pritzkers would be Republicans. If they were in Texas or some big, they, they would be Republicans. And they would just, oh, we're guns, 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 or whatever. They're just corporate money people who go to wherever the power is. All right, Illinois is a Democratic state. We'll go over here. We'll just side with the Democrats. We're a longtime Democratic Party. Blah, 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 Mayor Daley. Boo, boo, boo. Go for the Democratic Socialists. Shake it up. If they get the nomination, you're going to see some people. Listen to, listen to that. Public financing system for Illinois elections. That's a, they want to establish that. They want single payer health care and moving the state toward ranked choice voting. Ranked choice voting um, blows away the primary system, which is the two parties use the primary system. It's basically rigging it so that they can just make it only so a handful of people can vote and then they can get their person in there. Ranked choice voting, I did a video on it do some research on it, is a great system. It's a great system. This is fantastic. This gives me hope. So in Illinois, register to vote and vote for these two dudes in March of 18. My name is Graham Elwood. Thank you so much for watching and listening to The Political Vigilante. Like and subscribe on, on uh, YouTube. Positive reviews on iTunes. Share these everywhere. Patreon.com slash Graham Elwood is a great way to support the show. And also, if you buy anything, use my Amazon affiliate link. That's another great way to support the show for free. And I appreciate everything you guys are doing and how you're supporting me and this show. And it's awesome. And we're seeing some change happening. And it's happening in my home state where I grew, grew up in Illinois. I love it. Thank you.